What's shaking, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more aha. Uh -huh. And we're gonna listen to another demo from the deluxe edition of Hunting High and Low, though I do wanna mention after this one, we're gonna go back to finish off um, ending on a high note, as a couple people have asked about. Uh, so yeah, ultimately, shout out to all those who've been continuing with the Aha uh -huh Deep Dive, and people may know, over on Patreon, I've done the first Aha uh -huh music video reaction. You might not be surprised to learn what tune it is. It's going to be available to paid members for the next few days, and then I think it's like four days after I posted it, so maybe three days from now, it'll become fully public, so that's the plan. Essentially, I'm going to start going through the music video catalogs, or at least some of the more prominent music music videos from groups I've been deep diving on for a while, including, of course, Aha. Uh -huh. uh, nevertheless, we will continue going through these audio reactions as the primary output, not just for Aha, uh -huh, but all the deep dives on my channel. And as I mentioned in a previous reaction, um, I did want to give credit to, so, uh, to Sophia, not only for being a very helpful Aha uh -huh assistant, uh, but for, you know, she mentioned in the... Oh, that's right, it was the video for the... Uh, Savoy tune um, that I reacted to recently, uh, but basically, you know, she was saying that um, reacting to videos, if you haven't heard the tune before, it runs the danger of getting overly focused on the visual details such that you may miss nuances or aspects of the song that would perhaps stand out to you on a, you know, immersive listen like I do here, so that will continue to be the case, but I know a couple people said they were keen to get back to ending on a high note, and we'll definitely do that soon, or with the next reaction. Um, and yeah, ultimately the tune we're gonna hear here is you have grown thoughtful again. It's a funny phrase, it suggests there's been an interregnum, a, a period between an earlier thoughtful phase and the present where some unknown or um, person being spoken to um, has returned to this thoughtful state. Um, I wonder what the opinion of the speaker is about it. It's observational, but I don't know, somewhere in there I can feel like an applied judgment, like, oh, so now you're thinking again, are you? Okay, well, that's nice. It's, it's you know, unfortunate you didn't do that during this period before when maybe that would have led to, you know, an outcome or um, a situation that is less advantageous or convenient for you. It, it just feels like there's a bit of judgment in the statement. That might be entirely my perception, of course. Either way, let's find out what it is. This is Aha, uh -huh, an early demo included on the bonus edition, or sorry, the deluxe edition of Hunting High Low, and it's called You Have Grown Thoughtful Again. <laughs> yeah. Caramba! It has kind of like a Latin Brazilian sort of feel. I fail to understand you. I don't know if you are lonely or just call me. And I don't see how you can say the friends of you. So tell me who you see You have grown thoughtful again I can't say I like it You have grown thoughtful again Shaken and into minds You say things are not the way Say they are, uh, and you don't see how I can say yeah. friends of you and far between, and tell me where you've been.
Kings. That's interesting. I, it annoys me. I was so um, taken by some of the aspects in the second half of that. There was something I wanted to say in the first half that like hit me right away. Um, and it wasn't the comment about it having a bit of a Latin flavor when it started. It was something like right after that. And now, of course, it's this dead zone in my very recent memory. Indeed, I think it's like, it's scaled, right? So like my very long-term memory is actually quite good. My somewhat long-term memory, pretty damn good. My recent short-term memory, not great. And my immediate short-term memory is apparently terrible. Um, but I will say Morton's vocals, again, they sounded like he's testing the limits of how crazy or, you know, how eccentric he can deliver some of the lines. Um, and again, like, not just that musical, like, interlude part where it suddenly felt like, you know, like a, a theater, like, musical, like a, a musical theater type of um, atmosphere, but some of his deliveries, they have a bit of that sort of heightened drama, that like melodramatic drama to them. So again, it still feels like they're, you know, finding the the limits or the the typical range of the, the character of their songs. I did enjoy the lyrics, at least what I caught. Again, it sounds like someone who is saying that, you know, I'm not sure I like it. I'm not sure, you know, that you being thoughtful again is something that um, suits, you know, my assessment or understanding of who you are or what our current dynamic is so I don't know all the contours but it did feel um, critical although there might be a, a bit of like tongue-in-cheek to that I'm not sure um, and yeah ultimately I did like the sonic some of those like higher sort of smooth bended um, keyboard lines I did enjoy um, a bit of a again like experimental feel a bit like maybe that word is too strong but it, it didn't feel like the oh I sort of remember what it was I was thinking that you know with that guitar kind of opening and you know it wasn't like a heavy synth bass driven tune it actually had a feel of some of the stuff that they made you know following the famous stuff of the mid to late 80s um, it felt again maybe on some level a bit more natural instrument driven so um, yeah, ultimately, even though it still sounds like an early aha trying to find where their precise footing should be, it also maybe presages some things that would come later. So, at least that's how it hit me in the moment. Let me know if you disagree. Uh, as I said, after this we will go back to ending on a high note, uh, and indeed I will consult the excellent aha assistant Sophia, and shout out to all the aha family. Um, again, I know I, I always mention a few because I talk to them in, you know, either email or on Facebook and so on. And indeed, any of you who, you know, are on Facebook and um, want to connect or occasionally, you know, send me messages and so on, um, feel free to look me up. I'm under my own name, Matt Snyder, and the banner is the Acid Techno Street banner that you see here on um, YouTube, so it shouldn't be hard to find. Uh, either way, uh, I do appreciate all of the AHA family, and again, a number of you are over on Patreon, including several of you who are paid members, including some who became paid members, you know, within the last month or two, um, so, again, I can't stress enough how much I do appreciate and, um, have come to really, um, consider, like, part of what, you know, has made this channel such a cool part of my life, is that there's people who are willing to support me in a material sense, and, you know, whether that's supporting me on Patreon and or sending me music, whether digitally or physically. Um, basically, this channel isn't possible without everyone else who has come to it and made it this cool place for music and, you know, funny banter sometimes and cool anecdotes about, you know, the bands and the albums and concerts and so on, so... Big shout out to the whole to the whole AHA family and again to everyone over on Patreon and to you know those who support me in different ways. Again, whether it's through assisting me going through catalogs, making sure I'm not missing things, sending me tracks that maybe are outside the albums. Again, these things I've come to sort of depend on and you know I don't take them for granted is I guess what I'm trying to say. So big shout out to all of you. Let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Peace.